Welcome, fellow travelers. My name is Drew, and I'm joining Chibi and Birdtech at the Golden Feather. Come on in, grab a seat, and let's share some tales of adventure. More important than any of that is our guest, Drew. Drew, tell us about yourself. Um, sure. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm Drew. Drew plays. I've been streaming uh, MMOs and and RPGs for about a year and a half now. And I decided to get about fifty to seventy percent into the Ashes space um, uh, about about seven or eight months ago. Um, I've been following the game for well, I've been following since the famous Lazy Peon video about three and a half, four years ago. We all know the one I'm talking about. Uh, and I, I first started streaming Destiny 2. That was been one of the games I played for about 10 years now. And it mm -hmm. just it's one of those games that like. I enjoy it, but I don't think it's a, a game I enjoy streaming. Right. So I started looking at different RPGs that were coming out and man, I've been having so much more fun playing things like you No know, Rest for the Wicked lately and and various um, MMOs like Guild Wars, Final Fantasy and things like that. So that's kind of where I am in the in the creation space. But other than that, um, I'm a dad. I, uh, I have a three year old daughter and I every Disney reference you throw out there, I will always get at this point. <laughs> um, yeah, and I just I really enjoy playing games. I was fortunate enough to find a community about a year ago now that we've just been playing a lot of community games. So um, started off with V Rising with them and it just kind of has spiraled from there. And nice. so uh, so it's <laughs> it, it hasn't really helped the gaming budget very much because gaming communities tend to jump from they consume, right? They 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 play they find a new game, play it to death and then move to the next one. Oh, my uh, gosh. But it's, been, yep. it's been a blast. Or they play it for like maybe a week and then pop on to the next one. But they play it hard, yeah. so they will play it for a week, but they'll play it hard for a week. So I've yeah. had to learn how to kind of temper my <laughs> my involvement in some of them. But um, yeah, I, yeah, V Rising is one that caught me by surprise. It's the one that I really joined them. Like they did a community server when the last update came out about a year ago. And then since then, it's just been go, go, go. And it's survival genre um, really, really heavily so. That's who I am. I uh, I love games. Um, my daughter pops on stream every once in a while just to say good night because I stream usually like right after dinner. So if you ever watch my stream, you'll you'll see her jump on and she, her her catchphrase is "Good night, nerds." She'll say it. Uh, <laughs> I love it. That's cute. <laughs> but, you know, yeah. Fantastic, so. fantastic. Aww. Yeah, I um, I was I was gonna get into the V Rising thing with some folks, but then I forget why, but something popped up and totally distracted me away from that one. Mm. As is just know. gaming in general. I was yeah. I was like scrolling through Twitter the other day, and someone like there's a there's a real big um, kind of meme going on in the gaming community. Oh, I froze there. But uh, in, in the in the Twitter gaming community, are, is gaming in a rut right now? And I'm just like, what are you talking about? Like, I can't, I can't play everything i want to play so right yeah yeah gaming in general definitely is not the road i would think no i think it's just um to me i think if i talk to people that that think it's in a rut it's because they want a very specific experience that they're chasing after mm. from maybe like the before times which is just when they first started gaming right so a lot of that comes from like my old wow community it's like the gaming sucks now and it's been ruined by x and y factors and blah 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 but it's not like there's so many good games and so many good communities out there. Yeah. No. Here's a pop quiz for you then. What okay. is one? That's a two part question. So part one, what is your favorite type of game to play? Part two is what's your favorite to stream and play for people? Hmm. Um, it's shifted. It has definitely shifted. Uh, I am, I'm a, I'm a, I'm an old school, just tried and true MMO game player. I love MMOs. I'll, I'll try almost any that come out, whether or not they look like they're going to be paid. Away. I'll probably play Throne and Liberty. I'll probably play, you know, I've tried, I try them all like, just because I want to see if there's, you know, some value to them. So I think personally, I love those the most. Um, I, I actually, the second part of that question though has been kind of a, a struggle because 
it's a lot easier to stream when you're bouncing uh, back and forth with a couple people that you're playing with at the time. I mean, you mm. feed off each other and it gets kind of silly and whatever, right? So lately that's been more in the survival genre, to be honest. But I think um, I'm really excited about uh, Ashes because I, uh, me and another buddy convinced help 13 other people to get into alpha 2. <laughs> I felt a little bad about it because of the price nice. tag that comes with it, but it was, you know, fully their decision. Uh, so we have about uh, 13 people that are coming from this community that I've been a part of for the past year or so. Um, so I'm really, really excited to stream that with them, do some, you know, check out the PVP and the crafting systems. Um, so I, I'm hoping that that becomes uh, a, one of the MMOs that I've been excited to stream. Uh, because there haven't been many that I'm excited to stream for a while, right? I've, you know, I've been playing WoW Season of Discovery just because it's a comfort, right? Um, yeah. I try. I initially started streaming. I said Destiny, which is they call themselves an MMO, but I don't think they are. Um, and then Guild Wars Two uh, was another one I started, but they're just not really fun to stream because. Wow. It's That's something I've always liked to call an MMO uh, because it's a mildly multiplayer online. Mm, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think there was another game that came out and they called themselves an MMO Light Wayfinder. I think that came out in early mm, access last yeah. fall. Mm, yeah. But in a very similar vein, right? There's like a big social space, and it's kind of Monster Hunter World E, where you have your big social space and then you can go out and you might see other players in an instance version of other spaces. So, yeah. yeah. All right, I'm going to redirect us a little bit here. Um, for those that don't know you yet, because you are a newer content creator, um, what kind of content do you intend to make for Ashes? Uh, do you mean like medium or like platform wise? Or what do you what mean you, by that like, question? It, it sounded like you're trying to become a content creator for Ashes. So like what mm -hmm. kind of content? You're going to be, yeah. let's In say, pvp uh com competitive pvp are you gonna be like a a pve strategist you're gonna be a super crafter <laughs> yeah. are you gonna be a building yeah, yeah there's even like you know are you gonna do podcasts are you gonna do guides like in general what kind of yeah. content like let people yeah. know that's what good. you're doing no, that's a good question um at this point i am looking forward to just playing it on stream i i have created a singular video uh finding time as a as a dad of a three-year-old <laughs> to create and edit videos has been a struggle. Um, I don't think I'm going to get into the space where I'm creating guides. I just, I've, I've been having some conversations with some other content creator friends of mine, and, and that's um, definitely a way into the space. Uh, mm -hmm. it, I think it's one of the, if you're, if you're quick with it, it's an easy way in, right? I think, right. And, and not, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like degrading that by any means. I think that's a fantastic way in, but it's like a, it's kind of like, yeah, if you're going to create guides or if you're going to create like strategy stuff like and you can do it quickly, that's a good way in. Um, I just don't think that's going to be what I'm I, I kind of just like I started streaming and playing uh, because I really just enjoy chatting with people. I like meeting people. So I think that's probably going to be more my vibe. Um, I might create some silly videos and shorts uh, with the experiences. I'm not going to be a competitive PvP -er. I do enjoy world PvP. Mm hmm. Um, so I think there might be some fun experiences there with a couple of couple buddies, you know, as we get on and and play through Alpha 2. I also think Alpha 2 is going to be interesting because um, I don't think it's going to be this. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of speculation behind this, but it's going to be like a set. You create a character and this is your character for the next two years of Alpha and Beta, mm -hmm. right? I think it's mm -hmm. going to be a reset often, as Steven has said. So I think just jumping in in the moment, whatever we're testing and just streaming that and possibly creating videos off of that. But um, as of now, that's the plan. Um, I am actually looking to up a little bit of my content creation schedule uh, in the after this next business trip I have. So so starting mid-May, either I'll be streaming more or I'll stream a little bit more and maybe try to create a few more videos. But at this point, I think there's a lot of people in the space creating speculation and theory videos around Ashes. It's becoming um it's becoming something that people are just disengaging from a little bit because it's be it's a bit of of <laughs> thank you so much uh it's a bit of um kind of an echo chamber at the moment right we just need yeah. to get our hands on the game it's it's generally the the, the consensus so 
Yeah. Um, so I guess to short answer is just streaming and playing it and just meeting people in a community. And, and then we'll see if there's, you know, fun clips and YouTube videos that come from that. I think that's kind of the plan. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. And uh, real quick, thank you. I'm not sure if it's Hago P13 or Hagop 13. Uh, H name. Thank you so much. Maybe it's Hago P. I.E. Hago Hago Pie. Hago Pie. By the way, thank you so much. Appreciate it. But yeah, I hear you on the guides thing. The closest I've ever come to making a guide video is when Sotor came out. Um, there were all these little datacrons hidden around everywhere, and uh, one guy went through and collected videos of a lot of, of just gathering every single one. And I was about, I think I was about a third of his videos uh, were, were me recording the, the path to getting to them. Um, but that's the closest I've ever gotten to make it. We'll watch video. Vertech at this next one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. It was like he, him, him one other person and myself were, were basically recording all those videos and wow. I just kind of shoveled them his way and let him make the video. Nice. Yeah. All right. So I want to try something new only mm -hmm. in one to two sentences. So be very brief. Um, these are a couple of really good, uh, icebreaker questions that I liked. Uh, I felt like would be a good icebreaker question rather. Uh, tell me about your A2 character. That's a one to two sentences. Yes. Um, OK, if I have to, it's going to be. But I don't think there's just one A2 character, GB. I don't think that's because I because I because I think because I think we're going to be and this is my speculation, we're going to be reset. Um, and asked to test this specific thing now. Like you're now everybody's level 20 and you're in this new zone and you're you're all um, you know, you're all junior or whatever. Right. Yeah. I, I just think that's what I, I from my reading between the lines of Stevens, uh, what he's been saying. And again, I'm not you know, I don't have any privy you know, behind the scenes knowledge. I think it's just going to be we're not creating a character. That's our character. It's test these things because it's an alpha. But yeah. if if your question is if you had an alpha character and you were to play it for you know a good chunk of alpha um, healer because I've been really enjoying healing in MMOs lately. Um, not settled on a race yet. I really like the Nakua. <laughs> Actually, I think there's such a inspired version of that um, of the dwarf race in a game. Nice. Um, and then like PV definitely PVX focused. Like, I'm not trying to just PvE. I'm not trying to just PvP. Some of the most fun I've had in any MMO was um, this mm -hmm. classic WoW 2019 world bosses P on a PvP uh, server. So fun. I think he's taking our answers, too. Yeah. <laughs> Did I steal all yours? OK, I'm done. That was four sentences. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, my, mine was basically going to be uh, multiple characters trying all the things, especially every tank. And I want to try all the different races because I know he's going to be back, back when uh, launch comes. So yeah. I want to try all the other ones, see what it looks like from a short person point of view. <laughs> um, Grim, I just love your role play <laughs> that you're doing. So he's figured out how to slant the type uh, in the chat. So looks at Drugan awe. So few visionaries left. Nice to see. <laughs> <laughs> I just enjoy that. Um, but yeah, for me, primarily, um, I like the answer that I saw on Reddit, which is uh, character is in singular. No, I'm going to be testing multiple things. And in, in my case, it's going to be a multiple cleric primaries and then whatever the secondaries are that are available. So um, healers unite. Yeah, um, I'm going to try all cleric variants and bard variants. Uh, I'm going to pop this up uh, from Goo back. Goo back says I'm going to try um, all cleric variants and all bard, bard variants, bardians. Uh, can't wait. <laughs> and yeah, I think oh, bard bardians. is definitely one of the ones that people are very much anticipating. Um, so the next one in one to two sentences is what is the purpose of a trash mob to you? 
Just real quick going back. I would have said Bard if we'd seen Bard, but I have no idea what Bard looks like, so I can't commit to that. Okay, All we Crash saw Mobs. Bard was the like heavy metal or not <laughs> heavy metal, but yeah, the, yeah. The EDM. Yeah. The flute. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. so good. <laughs> okay. Uh trash mobs. Um that was the question. What is a what trash is what is the purpose of a trash mob to you? Can you define trash mob, please, Alex? <laughs> um, so, uh, that, that'll be a uh, trash mob buy-in for five, uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> basically, um, trash mob is anything that will usually die without posing any credible threat to a player. So like solo or a duo, um, 99 times out of a hundred, it's in reference to a dungeon or raid, like there's bosses and then trash mobs is yeah. basically everything else on the way to a boss. Yeah. Okay. So we're talking about raid and dungeon trash mobs because I, I mean I know what a trash mob is in general, but I, for the purpose of the question, in what context? Uh, what is the purpose of a trash mob in a raid or a dungeon to me? Uh, well, considering most of Ashes is going to have open world raids, mm, and true, dungeons, true. I don't True. think that really matters at this point. It's just a trash mob. <laughs> um, two sentences. Okay, first sentence, uh, world world population. So filling out the the environment with things that are living to, to kill, mm -hmm. I guess. Um, farmable drops like leather or cloth or, you know, something you can go grind. That, that to me, that's what a trash mob would typically be used for. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, one shot, like a one shot mob is bad design. There should never be a one shot mob, I don't think, unless you're going to lower level areas. I agree. I agree. Um, Grim Liberty says trash mobs help uh, develop the node and develop the character personality traits, gives them history. Um, and then mm -hmm. Gooback says fodder to give me XP, but if I pull too many and underestimate them, they will destroy the party. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, I've, I've had that experience as well. Um, but yeah, these are just a couple of just, you know, uh, kind of silly questions that not like silly as in like not important, but just like lighthearted questions that I thought would be fun to ask. Mm -hmm.